Today I want to speak about one of the most important bands for uh, the rebirth of thrust metal in the 90s. In the 90s, in the, in the last period of uh, mid 90s and the beginning of uh, the new millennium. And I'm speaking about the band The Haunted from Sweden. First of all, as I said uh, in another video, the real uh, rebirth of old school thrust metal came many years afterwards with the new wave of old school thrust metal scene because of bands of like municipal waste, toxic holocaust, legion of the damned and suicidal angels. But in the 90s there were some bands that uh, they would uh, they maybe they would uh, to, uh, to 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 come back with uh, uh, with thrust metal but not exactly in the way that we saw it afterwards. For example, we had uh, a Panther and Machine Head that uh, maybe they were groove metal, but they had thrust metal elements in their music. Afterwards, we had, of course, the retro black thrust, black thrust, retro black thrust scene, especially bands from Norway and Sweden. And also we had the, the scene of the neo thrust or modern thrust metal because of bands like The Haunted. Um, like The Haunted, like Darkane, like Hate Sphere in these years. So, when we speak about uh, The Haunted, The Haunted started in 1996 uh, in Katerburg, in the, in the city uh, of uh, the capital of the new wave of uh, melodic Swedish uh, death metal from the same city that came bands like In Flames, like uh, Dark Tranquility and of course At The Gates. And not only that, three members of, in the beginning of uh, The Haunted, they were members, ex-members of At The Gates. For example, the brothers Anders and Jonas Bjorler and of course uh, Adrian Erlandson, the drummer. And in this year, uh, in these years, in 1996, also they took uh, Patrick Jensen in, uh, uh, if I'm not sure, also Patrick Jensen was one, one of, the, of the members in the beginning of the band and uh, they took also Peter Dolving as their singer. Uh, if we speak about periods of the band, we have to speak about four periods. The first Dolving era period, the, the first Marco Aro era period, the third, or let's say, let's say the second uh, Dolving era period and the second Marco Aro period. So we have two singers in the band from the beginning until now and everyone uh, he had uh, uh, two periods, two eras inside uh, the whole story of the band. The first period of the band, the first Dolving era period, started from 1996 until 1999 and when they made uh, their first uh, debut album that was very very special the Haunted uh, album in 1998 uh, Dolving was their singer but afterwards Dolving left the band Erlandson left also the band for a period in, they left both of them the band in 1999 uh, Erlandson for one period of time he was also the drummer of Great of Filth and then they took with another singer, Marco Aro, um, and he was with them from 2000 until 2003, and he made two albums with them, their second album and the third album. Afterwards uh, came back Peter Dolving and he, in 2003, and he continued with them for seven albums, seven albums. Uh, it was also in 2001, Andres Bjorler, one of the brothers, left the band for uh, some months and he came back. And in 2012, Dolving left the band for the second time. Uh, and also with him, Andres Bjorler also left the band for the second time. And also third drummer in this period of time, Pearl Moore and Jensen also left the band. And in these years, Haunted uh, started to be inside the hiatus 
and that it continued for many many years until uh, let's or more until 2014 so for many many years uh, people thought that the hot uh, stopped to be a band that they disbanded but then Patrick Jensen and Jonas Blodger uh, together with uh, Elderson they thought and brought back their second singer Marco Aro for the second for a second time and he together with them saved the day so the band came back uh, and until now with Marco Aro in this second period of him they made until now two studio albums in any case today I want uh, to make to add rank their albums from worst to best about their nine studio albums of them before of that everybody speaks about the whole funny story uh, about the second album of Nirvana this baby that he's not baby that he, he, uh, that he wants to sue the band the ex-members of Nirvana because of this second uh, album okay never mind in any case what we will what the, uh, Dave Mustaine and Megadeth will say about uh, the album Euthanasia if the babies of this album will come out and they will say that they also they want to uh, sue the band there is a not uh, let's let, let's speak and be real this is not uh, this is not something straight because if uh, uh, if you, if someone for so many years he didn't have problem and he made also pictures of him like this picture in many periods of his life so now he remembers that he was that that, that this is a, maybe it was pornographic it, is, it was not a, uh, that it was something against him no in any case before that i will start to rank the studio nine studio albums of the hobbit i have to speak about another band also that marco aro uh, who was the singer face down this was the band and the hardcore thrust band and their album the will to power uh, this album came out in 2005 okay a very good hardcore style for us metal uh, album with marco aro as the singer and now let's start in the ninth place for me will come their seventh album of 2011 the album unseen this is also the last uh, album with uh, peter dolding as their singer and also the last album with um, uh, anders bzoller inside the band uh, this album is not so great it's a very difficult album it's not exactly uh, the haunted style and for this reason many people they did like also the dead eye two albums before it and they thought that the, that, that the album the fifth album of the dead eye was catastrophic catastrophic but afterwards that uh, they listened to unseen they understood that this is the most Nadir, uh, let's say, uh, album of them. Now, in the in the eighth place, uh, one album that is not bad, but in connection with the other albums, I will put it in this place. Their last until now album, their ninth album of them, of 2017, Strength in Numbers. This is the second album of Marco Aro as the singer in, in his uh, second area period uh, in the band. Also, a very good album that continues the way that he started with Exit Wounds, the album of uh, uh, the album that uh, uh, the Hodid came back with this album after so many years. In the seventh place, their fifth album of 2006, The Dead Eye. Now, many people they didn't like the album when it came out. Uh, also, it's a very, it's a very melodic. It's a, even a little bit more progressive. This is not exactly the hardcore groove thrust style of them. But after many years, I can say that it's a good album. It's not a bad album, and I prefer it even more of course from the album Unseen. In the sixth place, a great album, their eighth 
album of 2014 by the name Exit Wounds. This is the first album with Marco Ario in his second period in the band. This album saved the life of the Haunted, saved the day of the Haunted. Great album, very catchy album, melodic album, thrust melodic with some uh, th uh, with some style of melodic death in their music. Great, great album in my point of view. Now, uh, in the fifth place, their third album of 2003, this was the second album with Marco Aro and the last album of him in the, his first period with the, the band, One Kill Wonder. This is a little bit more uh, hardcore style um, and many people in these years, they prefer uh, that Peter Dolving will come back, something that uh, became true one album afterwards, but also is a, a very good album with Marco Aro. Now, uh, now, in the fourth place, one album that many people uh, prefer to call it as the last good uh, Haunted, the Haunted album, and I'm speaking about their sixth album of 2008 by the name Versus. Um, also, Dolvin here is the singer. It came out after the Dead Eye, and it was, uh, uh, let's say, a a an album that the band uh, preferred to come back to their uh, to their known uh, ways. Okay, it's a good it's a good album in any case. But I know people that for them this was the last album that they listened from the Haunted and afterwards the uh, people that they liked the Haunted and after this album uh, they started not to have a, a connection with the band. Now, in the third place, one great album that many fans of the Haunted prefer it very, and I understand this, their fourth album of 2004, Revolver. This is also the, bad, the, the second album with Peter Dolving as the singer. Uh, it was, this was the comeback of Peter Dolving. And this is a great, great album of modern thrust uh, in, uh, in, all way, in all its ways. In the second place, their second album of 2000, Made Me Do It or many people prefer to call it The Haunted Made Me Do It. It was the, sec the second album of them and the first album with Marco Aro uh, in general. Uh, a little bit more hardcore style and groove style uh, in connection with their debut album, but also a great, great, great album. And many people also prefer it in the first place. But in the first place, Always for me, as an old school thruster, will come their debut album of 1998, the album The Haunted. Okay? Because this is maybe the album Peter Dolving, he's here is the singer. Uh, because this album is the maybe the only album that will came close even more to the old school thrust. I remember myself to listen to this album very uh, a much uh, period of time uh, together with the album called Code Red of Sodom uh, that came out also in this period of time. Great, great album of uh, school of thrust metal, uh, and this album is especially between the old school thrust and the modern thrust uh, 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 metal. It's exactly between. Uh, the two styles of thrust. Great, great album, and because of this album, also was a little bit um, a style of uh, recreation of the thrust metal in these days. Uh, but the real recreation, we saw it many years afterwards with the new uh, wave of old school thrust metal and with municipal waste. So this is about the Hodin from Sweden, from Israel and from Jerusalem. Stay metal and stay heavy.